Morning everybody. Rick here. And Dad. And we are here in Branson, Missouri, the heart of the Ozarks. And we're here at the Branson Cross. Very, very nice. It's kind of cloudy, kind of cool. We just got through visiting the Creation Museum, just literally just right down the hill here. Very nice museum. Well worth your trip if you're in the Branson, Missouri area. So as I always say, if you don't do anything, I'm inviting you to come along and join us. So come on, follow along. Let's get started. Okay, there's the cross. It's got little teardrops on it. I don't know if that's going to come out on video or not. But, um... That's the Branson Cross. I've been coming to Branson for years. This must be fairly new. I just don't remember this being here. Very beautiful background. I mean, just gorgeous scenery. We got the Ozark Mountains all around us. Very beautiful. We may walk out that way later on. The leaves are just starting to turn. I don't think we made it quite in the, in the peak of the uh, season, but that's all right. It's still very nice out today. A little windy, a little cool, but otherwise very scenic. Okay, now we're going under this little uh, shelter here. And they've, they've got these all down the sidewalk. Now these all light up at night. And of course they got crosses in them. Each one of these has a cross. And then there's a box that's got the uh, names of the apostles. That one says Peter on it. They're just these little boxes. And then, well, like I said, these all light up at night. And I think that would really be cool, something to see. And then this is Andrew on it. I found out this by accident, totally by accident. I was looking for the Creation Museum, and I saw where it said Branson Cross. And it's literally like two minutes from the Creation Museum. And then all along here, you've got crosses in rock with uh, outlined in rock. See, they're all uh, on each on each side along here. Then there's John, and then uh, kind of swing around here a little bit. And then see, here's a uh, more crosses. I think it's gotten windy. It wasn't windy earlier this morning. They want it's windy now. And there's Philip. And there's Bartholomew. And there again, there's the rock crosses all down this walkway. There's Matthew. Thomas. James. And here's Simon. And there's Jude. the rock crosses and then they've got these great big huge lights I'll show you if I can get up here maybe and then here's Matthias I think some of these crosses have been kind of kicked around a little bit this is really very unique I had no idea this must be fairly new I just don't of course it's been several years since we've been here in the Branson area now this is looking back down the walkway
I'm literally holding my hat on right now. Probably shouldn't wear it right now, but and then over the, off in the distance, there's the lights. I probably, probably shouldn't walk over there. This is very nice. All the way to the end. I'm so sorry about this wind. There's a, another cross. Of course, there's a flag. Way up there. I'm going to kind of walk out this way a little bit. got Ozark Mountains all around us. Oh, that is one tall cross. There's no way I can look at it from here. We'll have to go back. Boy. It is really windy. It got really windy really quick and just a little on the chilly side but like I said we're on our way we'll probably get some lunch here somewhere here in the branch area the leaves are just starting to turn they're not quite there yet but still very pretty. The uh, Creation Museum is free. They go on donations. They're getting ready to build a new museum. As soon as they get the, the funding that's needed. But this area is literally just right uh, before you get to Branson. I'm walking my way out now because I'm going to get another look at that cross. I've seen pictures online at night. It's very pretty at night. All these light up. And of course the cross has light to shine on that as well. I've kind of got back a little ways. It's got teardrops on the cross. Very, very huge structure. I don't know, maybe if I stand underneath this shelter, it might be a little bit less windy, but I don't think so. But there it is again. Like I said, it's cloudy today, so I just don't know how well this is going to turn out. But there again, it's called the Branson Cross. Let me kind of walk over here a little bit. These Ozark Mountains are just absolutely beautiful. And they are starting, starting to turn a little bit. It was supposed to be partly sunny today, but I don't know if it's going to... It might be later on this afternoon. Well, let me get more online over here. Kind of look out over the Ozark Mountains. Well, that's probably about as good as I'm going to get. And like I said, I don't know if those um, 
teardrops are going to show up. I sure hope so. It like just started getting windy. It seemed like when we left the museum. A lot of traffic noise off of the distance. That's because we're literally right off of uh, 65 South. I thought I would try something here. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I thought we could try to get a little bit closer to the cross. Now let's see if we can see those teardrops. I was going to do a video of the Creation Museum. Um, unfortunately, due to copyright restrictions, they do not allow videos. I was really disappointed, but what are you going to do? I did take a bunch of pictures. I might put those on my Facebook page. But they did a really good job with this. Oh boy, that's way up there. And we are up on a hill. Let me just kind of do a 360 of the these Ozark Mountains. Very pretty. The sun's trying to come out a little bit. walk back around see if I can get it again get the cross maybe one more time the Sun is trying to come out a little bit it is supposed to be partly cloudy later on probably later on this afternoon it's almost noon
see this. More crosses out here. There's a close up of those lights. I think some of these rocks have been kicked around a little bit. Can't quite make it out all of it. I can make out the Christ. Okay. Yeah, yesterday it was like 90, 90 degrees or something like that yesterday, and it's like 60s today. That sun's come out a little bit. I'm going to walk over here one more time and see if I can get a look at that, those uh, teardrops on the, on the cross. Of course, the sun's on the wrong side. And that may be why <clears throat> that may not come out. I don't think that's going to work. Now later on today it might be on the other, might be better on the other side. I mean, but not right now. Let me see something here just a moment. <clears throat> Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. They're on the other side as well. Let's see if we can get a look on the other side. Ooh-wee. Oh, yeah. I can see that from here. Let me walk on down here to the gate. I mean, to these, to this fence area here.
let's see if we can get a better look. I'm gonna walk all the way down here to this fence. Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, that made the difference. Um, sorry, between the wind and I'm kind of walking on uneven ground here. Let me see if I can get more in the middle. And let's try it again. Oh yeah, I can see that on the video. Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully that came out a little bit better. And there again, this look out over the Ozark Mountains. Really windy today. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and walk on back up. I keep hoping the sun will come out maybe one more time before we leave. Wait probably a little after we leave.
maybe I should have done this earlier this morning. <laughs> but our reservations for the Creation Museum was at 10 a.m. this morning. If you have to make reservations, I mean, there's no, it's all free. You just call them, tell them what time you're going to be there. And it takes about an hour and a half to do the tour of the Creation Museum. Okay, I think we're going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed this video today. And as always, I invite those to, uh, if you're not a member or not a sub subscribe to my channel, uh, if you enjoy my videos, I would ask that you would like, subscribe, and share. And I do thank all of my subscribers. Like I said, my mission statement is I do these strictly for fun, enjoyment, and entertainment. And I, as always, I will see you on the next video. So, goodbye for now. This vlog is over. Oh, one more thing. These dog tags represent the men and women that have fought and died for our country. And there are a bunch of them. And I do believe they're actual dog tags. I can see names on them. And again, I want to thank all the brave men and women who have fought and are still fighting to keep our country free. And we remember those who have died to keep our country free.